Grace was in a tight spot when she decided to adopt a set of twins some weeks after they were born. She raised them with all the love and affection in her heart, but when they turned 18, she received the shock of a lifetime. Grace and Susan met in college and were inseparable ever since. Their friendship was such that you hardly saw one girl without the other. They acted like twin sisters too, always wearing matching outfits and hairstyles. Coincidentally, they had boyfriends at the same time and all four of them would go on double dates and have lots of fun together. After college, they settled in the same city but found jobs with different companies. They lived about two hours away from each other, so they often met to have fun and discuss their future plans together. About three years after they began working, they both got married two weeks apart and each couple went to a different destination for their honeymoon. A few weeks after they returned from their honeymoon, Grace and Susan met up as usual but Susan had dark circles underneath her eyes and looked so exhausted. Grace asked what was wrong like if she was sleeping well, ate something wrong or if she had the flu. Susan laughed and said she was fine, but she had a lot of work to do and was struggling to finish it on time. She also admitted feeling very sensitive lately. Grace became concerned when she realized that Susan was experiencing heightened sensitivity compared to her usual self. Susan shared her observations with Grace, including her increased aversion to certain smells and her selective eating habits. Recognizing the severity of the situation, Grace suggested they visit a doctor to investigate the symptoms. They both told their husbands about it, and although the men wanted to go with them to the hospital, they couldn't because they both had to go on business trips. Early the next morning, the men dropped off their wives at the hospital and went their separate ways. At the medical center, the doctor asked Susan some questions before conducting tests. While waiting for the test results, Grace comforted Susan and told her that everything would be just fine. About 20 minutes later, Grace got up to use the restroom. She had only taken a few steps forward when she suddenly felt lightheaded and passed out. When she regained consciousness, she found herself in a hospital bed with Susan sitting beside her. Susan then told her that the nurses had taken her blood sample for testing. After an hour's wait, the doctor summoned the women into his office and told them that they were both pregnant. Neither of them could believe their lucky ears. At first, they were silent. Then they suddenly burst into laughter, hugging each other tightly and shedding tears of joy. Little did they know the beautiful surprise wasn't over yet. Weeks later, they went to the hospital for a scan and they got to know that Susan was expecting twins. Both women had always wanted to have twins, and even though Grace was pregnant with only one baby, she was beyond happy for her best friend. Nine months later, the women went to the hospital to have their babies. See you soon. Be strong. You can do it. The women told each other before they were wheeled into separate delivery rooms. Grace endured a difficult labor that lasted several hours. But when she heard the cry of her newborn baby, a wave of relief and happiness washed over her. She held her little bundle of joy briefly before dozing off. When she woke up, the doctor came to check on her and she asked about Susan. At once, the doctor's cheerful smile gave way to a sad one. Grace immediately knew that something was wrong, and even though she was still feeling fatigued, she immediately sat up. Tell me Susan is okay. Tell me my best friend is fine. Grace panicked, but the doctor shook his head, and he told Grace they tried their best, but Susan didn't make it. However, her twins did. Grace shook her head in disbelief, utterly devastated by the news. Refusing to accept the doctor's words, she screamed in anguish, hoping everything was a scary dream she would wake up from. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Once Grace had composed herself, she asked to see Susan's babies. Although she was devastated that Susan was gone, she was still glad that she had left behind a part of herself. Grace asked the doctor for permission to try breastfeeding the babies, and he agreed as the twins were struggling to take formula. For days, 
Grace waited for Susan's husband, Frank, to show up and make plans for the twins, but he didn't. In the end, the hospital had no choice but to let Grace go home with the babies. After a week stay in her house, Grace decided to take the twins home to their father. However, she was met with a great surprise when Frank refused to let them in, saying that he wanted nothing to do with the babies. But they're your flesh and blood. Why are you rejecting them? They didn't do anything wrong. Susan told me that you couldn't wait to meet them. If they hadn't been born, Susan would still be here. But they took her from me. They took my source of joy and happiness. Then he told Grace he was already putting plans in place to leave the city for good, and Grace could keep the babies if she wanted. Frank's words shook Grace to the core. She couldn't believe that he was capable of doing such a thing. She looked at the twins and their innocent smiles broke her heart even more. She knew that these two precious babies deserved much more than a father who blamed them for their mother's death. There and then, she decided to take them into her care, to give them the love and support they deserved, as their mother would have done. When she returned home with the kids, she told her husband, Charlie, about her desire to adopt the twins, and he told her she had his full support. Within a few months, the adoption process was completed, and Grace officially welcomed the twins, Josh and Sean, into her home. However, what she did next will shock you. Grace decided to raise her biological son, Jacob, and the adopted twins as triplets. Except for family members and a few relatives who knew the truth, she made everyone else believe she gave birth to the triplets. She wore matching outfits for them all the time and taught them to do everything together. Indeed, she did a perfect job as the boys grew up loving each other and forming a strong and inseparable bond. However, as the boys entered their teenage years, their physical appearance began to change. The boys noticed that Josh and Sean looked quite identical and different from Jacob. Once, they approached Grace and asked her about it, but she blamed it on genetics. However, from the moment the boys expressed their concern about their physical differences, Grace became worried. What if the boys find out the truth? Would they hate her for lying to them? Would they ever forgive her? She would often wonder, silently praying the truth never comes up. When the triplet brothers turned 18, something quite worrisome happened. Jacob fell sick. He had no appetite, swollen legs, and abdominal pain. One morning, a few months after his 18th birthday, he was walking down the stairs when he suddenly became dizzy and passed out. Josh and Sean, who were the only ones at home, quickly rushed him to a reputable hospital. At the hospital, the doctors carried out various tests and the results showed that Jacob needed an immediate liver transplant. Guess what his brothers did? They immediately agreed to donate a portion of their liver. The physician conducted a blood test to determine who was a better match for Jacob. But when the results came back, the twins were beyond stunned. They had a different blood type compared to Jacob. Feeling deceived, Josh and Sean confronted Grace later that day and demanded an explanation. Why didn't you tell us that Jacob was adopted? We don't have the same blood type and the doctor confirmed that we're not biologically related, Sean protested. Grace, unable to keep up the facade, swallowed hard before confessing everything that led them to that point. After she finished explaining, Josh and Sean gaped at her in disbelief. They couldn't believe that they were the ones who were actually adopted and that their father had turned his back on them. How would Jacob react to this? And what would the boys do next? Keep watching to find out. Several weeks after the life-saving transplant, Jacob recovered and his brothers told him the whole truth. He too was upset with his mother for keeping such information from them. They decided they couldn't sit back and do nothing. What these boys did next would shock Grace to the bone. A few short weeks later, the trio sneaked out of the house at night and it was only when Grace went into their room to tell them that breakfast was ready that she realized they were missing. For the next three days, she almost lost her mind searching for them. On the fourth day, Grace was in a pensive mood, sitting on one of the sofas in the living room 
when the front door came open and the triplets walked in. They approached their mother with tears in their eyes, and the twins confessed that they had gone to meet their father. However, he chased them away and told them he had moved on a long time ago. And so should they. The boys apologized to Grace and thanked her for everything. They told her they loved her and would never stop doing so. The excited mother accepted her son's apologies and they all shared one very big and warm hug. What do you think about this story? Thank you for watching.